you'd bought a plot of land. We obviously had planning permission for a bungalow on the site, but it was a much more complex design than we've ended up with. We had to rationalise it quite significantly. Well, I wanted a low energy build, so that's what led me towards looking at Passive House. And I'd looked at various methods of building, like um, straw bale, but I've always had the interest in building with timber. So of course, we, we, we talked about different ways of building the house at different points, we talked about timber frame, but we always return back to CLT because you wanted that internal finish That's and the, right. quali you know, the quality yes. that would give to the, right. to the house. It's lovely, it gives me a, a very nice aesthetic internally and I've probably ended up with timber everywhere. There's nothing other than timber above ground floor. Everything in the walls as well, even the wood fibre insulation yep. and then the large cladding on the inside. The windows are timber yes. and of course along that way we also achieve some very good air tightness. The air leakage would fit on the penny coin, <laughs> which is uh, 244 times more airtight than building regulations would require. Yeah. And as far as we've been able to gather, it's about the third most airtight house in the world. Rather ridiculous and <laughs> somewhat unexpected because I did all the airtightness taping and it's yeah. just worked out very well. So I've been through a winter. The heating went off early March and it, I haven't touched it since. It's very nice, very comfortable, and the air's great. It's, it's all very even temperature around the house, which is one thing that you really notice with the mechanical ventilation. And it's really working well. <laughs>